pretty introverts tap in now if you're a pretty introvert and you're watching this video i'm pretty sure you already know what this is about if you know you know when you walk in the room your beauty might attract a lot more faster than your personality will and nothing's wrong with that your beauty attracts but your personality might not stand out as much as your looks and that's okay i'm pretty reserved but a lot of times my fashion sense isn't reserved which is okay you know but i do a little i do a nice little balance here and there i'm a libra so i like to balance the scale out a little bit Essentially, I like to call myself an extroverted introvert, meaning I'm naturally I'm an introvert, but when I get around people who I trust, people who I love, people who I'm comfortable around, then the real me comes out, which is basically pretty extroverted. I have to be comfortable and be calm and know that I can trust you in order to be myself around you, which essentially is what most people do. But you know, that's a, that's the difference between an extrovert and an introvert. Like when I was younger, people used to always ask me, why are you so quiet? And they were like, bitch. But you know what? When they asked that question, it would seem like something was wrong with me. And ridiculing someone who doesn't talk enough or isn't talking enough for you is no way to make them open up or even talk even more. And I can remember on a few occasions where I felt like this when I was younger. And when I say younger, I'm talking about like, you know, ages like eight to 12. You know, around that time when you're growing up, those are like the most impressionable times of your life as a child. And you know what? I'm not a victim. And I talk a lot more now than I did then. But of course it was during my coming to age years. You know, you become a gr adult and you realize, oh shit, like I gotta talk to people in order to get by. I gotta talk to people in order to get shit done. Like I gotta talk to people cause I'm an adult now. Like it's just kind of kind of common sense. Like I'm still naturally a quiet person, but I definitely do talk a lot more than I did when I was younger. Anyways, let's get to these preconceived judgments that people usually see when they see a pretty girl introvert or a pretty girl that's just pretty much minding her own business. They always think, oh, if you're pretty, that you need to be extroverted. You know, a lot of times they see a pretty girl, they always think, oh, okay, like she's super pretty. She has to be extroverted. She has to stand out just as much as her looks. You know, if she doesn't, if she's not, if she's super quiet or if she's quiet or kind of to herself, she's stuck up and thinks she's better than everybody. That is not always the case. And then if you are pretty and you are extroverted, then you actually need to be mean. You need to be, to be pushy. You need to be bossy, you know, all this other extra stuff that's associated with a negative personality well i'm here to tell you that there's many reasons why someone might be quiet especially in a social setting uh they might have super low confidence they can be in their head a bit too much you know um like some people i know libras or they're just like naturally quiet like me like they just be chilling minding their own business so like don't get mad because we secure like we don't need to be over here talking with woohoo and boohoo like we don't always feel like we have to be in the mix to be heard or to be noticed and I see a lot of introverted theme pages on social media these days, which, you know, make it acceptable for people to be more introverted, I guess. But at the same time, I'm like, we've been doing this. We, we, we've been doing this for a minute. But I guess they're making it more acceptable in a way. But just to be honest, if you are an introvert, and I'm pretty sure you already know this, there are plenty of people who are still ignorant to us being in our own space, protecting our peace, protecting our space, and wanting to be in our business. People are still ignorant of that. And personally, I have some reasons as to why some people feel that way. <clears throat> some people look at the way you carry yourself and see that you don't need a lot of people around you, see that you're content and okay and completely comfortable with your solitude. So a lot of people may look at that and see that as negativity. And it also may be them projecting their insecurities over onto you, knowing that, okay, oh, they can go out and have fun by themselves and be okay in their solitude, but like, I can't do that. You know, deep down inside, subconsciously, they know they can't do that, but they're projecting that negativity on you, saying that, okay, well, you know, she thinks she all that. She can go out there and, you know, be by herself and this and that. She's stuck up. She ain't got friends for a reason or, you know, but that's kind of subjective too. So a lot of it has to do with how you carry yourself and people are going to think whatever they want to think but it's usually a projection of negativity you know some people know that they can't be by themselves they can't go out by themselves and so when they see people who are by themselves and okay with their solitude okay with like kind of just be chilling being quiet in a social setting they project that negativity onto them you know subconsciously they know that they can't do that so they see someone who's over here minding their business not having to be loud not over here having to i don't know i guess so-called entertain everybody and be you know super flamboyant or whatever the word is and they're projecting that negativity on them because they feel like they don't really know what the person's thinking. And sometimes that bothers a lot of people. When people can't really read you, that bothers them, which I don't even understand why. I mean, to me, I guess I get it, you know, depending on the setting. They may be self-conscious um, and, feel, and feeling insecure or unhealed in some type of way in their life. 
So basically, it's projection. Going off of that, people may envy your calmness. You know, I've actually had someone tell me that before. They didn't say it in a bad way or anything. They just were like, wow, you're so calm and I really envy that. You know, and of course, even with the introvert thing and the calmness, usually the calmness and introvert kind of, kind of come together. I don't know about y'all, but there's been so many times when people just kind of pour out their problems to me. And it's not even like, all I said was hi. <laughs> they just pour everything out to me. And you know, granted, I'm a really nice person. I'm, I, I don't like say, hey, you know, hold on. Like, I don't need to know all that. I'm very open to it because I know we're all going through our own issues. We're all going through our problems. And who knows, that person might not even have anyone to talk to. But I'm telling you, like, people just see that, you know, I'm a nice person, I'm a calm person, I'm not really judgmental, and they're like, just blah, just let everything out of me. Trust me, I've had it with Lyft drivers, Uber drivers, I've had it at cash cashiers, I've had it like in a waiting room. I'm like, okay, all right, Lord, if this is what, if this is what I need to do to get these people through the day, if they need somebody, you know, who can listen to their problems for like, what, one, one to two minutes, okay, that's completely fine. That's completely fine. So yeah, being introvert and also, that kind of kind of goes in hand with having that calmness that people kind of envy. The other thing is people might get agitated because they can't figure you out. You know, you're introverted. You're not like this completely open book. You know, so like I said, that kind of goes off of negativity too based off of the projection of themselves. They get agitated because they can't really read you. And I kind of like that, I'm not gonna lie. Another reason is they might be jealous, which kind of goes off a few other reasons I said. They might think you're stuck up. They might think you're intimidating. They might even think you're not acknowledging them and have an issue with that, or you're not acknowledging them in the way that they want you to acknowledge them in. All because you're just reading the room and minding your business. They also might think you're plotting something, and I'm just like, the only thing I'm plotting right now is my subtle escape out of this social setting, okay? Another thing is too, they might also see you as a target and want to bully you and think that you're not going to speak up for yourself because you're so introverted or not really talking much too. They might think you're a pushover until they say something to you and they're like, oh, you're mean, I knew it. You know, that type of vibe. I just know this from experience. I mean, more so like from my younger years, like, you know, the mean girls in school or so, but it happens too in adult life. Like, bitch, if you poke a bear, it's going to start bearing. Another perspective is people usually think introverted or quiet people are timid and sensitive and won't really stick up for themselves. And so that's why they bully you or don't even really think much of you as having, you know, some type of substance and thinking you can't or won't buy back. So I didn't want this video to be super long, so I'm gonna end it with this for my younger girlies coming up or even like my adult girlies coming up who are introverted. Yes, social media has, you know, definitely been more um, of a push to let people be more acceptable to introverted people and all types of people really, you know, being here in America. And it has made being an introvert somewhat cool and to let people be more sensitive to different personalities, backgrounds, etc. But just know there's still gonna be haters out there. Also, you gotta know when to put your big girl panties on and speak up for yourself. If you're one of those introverts who honestly just don't like talking to people, don't ever let anyone ever bully you for any type of thing and say that they know who you are when they don't know who you are. Just wanna speak up for yourself because trust me, don't always think someone's gonna be there to defend you. Learn to speak up for yourself in the school space, workspace, activity space, whatever kind of space you're in. Just make sure to always kind of stick up for yourself. Actually, not kinda, always make sure to stick up for yourself. Because I'm telling you, seeing people's face who underestimated you and think you ain't going to say nothing, seeing their face after you actually say something back, whoo, that shit is priceless. But that's another story. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe or comment. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Glamazon with three Zs. And I will see you next time. Bye.